today I'm going to show you how to make a brioche dough and from this brioche dough we will make a sausage roll a brioche sausage roll and we're also going to make a brioche creme brulee and caramel donuts this is all brought to you by Angel Premium Instant Dry Yeast let's get started For the brioche hot dog roll, we need 500 grams of bread flour, 8 grams of salt, 225 grams of warm milk, use fresh or whole milk, 8 grams of Angel Premium Instant Dry Yeast, 80 grams sugar, 80 grams eggs, 60 grams of butter. For the streusel topping, we need 35 grams margarine, 35 grams all-purpose flour, 35 grams sugar, 35 grams of full cream powdered milk. We start mixing by warming the milk. You warm it to about uh, 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. We will add in the Angel Premium Instant Dry Yeast. Then we have sugar, egg, 80 grams. And then we have here uh, bread flour. You can also use all-purpose flour. And then I have salt, which you add last. Don't put the salt and the yeast together because it slows down the activity of the yeast. Then we're going to mix this for one to two minutes at low speed until it forms a dough. All right, here you can see after one to two minutes, it has formed a dough. So what we're going to do next is we're going to mix at medium speed for six to eight minutes. What is the difference between the Angel uh, regular instant dry yeast and the Angel premium dry yeast? The Angel premium dry yeast has several advantages, especially in dough fermentation speed, sugar tolerance, low temperature, dissolving tolerance, and quality stability. So it's very superior and so much better than the regular uh, yeast. After six minutes, we're going to add in the butter and then we will mix for another two minutes all right let's check for the window pane put oil in your hands and then pinch off a small portion of the dough and then slowly spread it out and if you can stretch it without it tearing then it means that your dough is ready or you have uh, mixed it enough all right so like this, you prepare a bowl and oil it and then turn it over, form it into a ball and then you put oil on top. We cover this with plastic or with a damp cloth. You allow this to rise for one hour or until it's double in size. Right, we'll check this after one hour. To make the streusel, I have here flour. You can use all-purpose, you can use bread flour, you can use cake flour. And then we have powdered milk. I use full cream powdered milk, don't use the non-fat or the low-fat milk. Then you have sugar. You mix this all together. And then I have margarine. I prefer to use margarine for this one instead of butter. You mix this together until it's fine. It looks like sand. You can use your hands. If you're making a big batch, you can put this in the mixer. If you don't have margarine, you can use butter. But for this uh, recipe, I like the taste of margarine better. So here, so here's our streusel. Look, it looks like sand now. So you set this aside, and then we will wait for the uh, dough to rise. Here is our dough after just 45 minutes, because we're using the Angel Premium Instant Dry Yeast, which is really fast acting. So let's remove this, and then let's weigh this. We will portion them into 60 gram portions, and then form a smooth ball. Okay, 
you get one portion flatten this our guide is the length of our hot dog you can also use sausage if you like so like this then roll then pull this so that it's going to be straight and then pinch and then roll all right let me do one more here this is our hot dog you can also use a Hungarian sausage or any kind of sausage that you like then make sure it's close and then we continue with the rest so what we're going to do is brush you can use milk you can use water you can use egg and then roll this in the strusel like this all right and then we roll it one more time like this okay another one roll this again here okay we divide this into portions small portions you can do four you can do five okay let's just do four So here, um, I left uh, six pieces which I did not cut and then all the rest I cut so you can see which one you like best, alright? Make sure seam side down. We will let this rise for another 30 to 45 minutes until it's double in size before we bake. Here is our dough just after 30 minutes. It's now double in size so we will bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about uh, this one will take about maybe 10 to 12 minutes this one will take about 20 minutes all right here is our uh, brioche hot dog rolls uh, we cut them into four or you can serve them whole made with angel premium instant dry yeast For the brioche creme brulee donuts, you need 140 grams of cake flour, 360 grams of bread flour, 8 grams of salt, 225 grams of warm milk, use fresh or whole milk, 8 grams of angel premium instant dry yeast, 80 grams sugar, 80 grams eggs, 60 grams of butter. First, you need to warm the milk. Warm it to about 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and then we will add the Angel Premium Instant Dry Yeast and then we have sugar, eggs, and we have here our cake flour and our bread flour. We're using cake flour a portion of the flour we use cake flour the reason for this is we want to cut the uh, gluten so we get a softer donut and then we add the salt last mix this one to two minutes until the dough is formed now all the ingredients have come together the uh, liquid has picked up the flour so we're going to mix this at medium speed for six minutes after six minutes, we add in the butter and you mix for another two minutes for the window pane. So you pinch off a small portion. If it sticks to your hands, you can put a little oil. If you can stretch it without it breaking or tearing, of course you need, you need to stretch it slowly. Then it means that you have achieved the window pane and you have needed it enough. Alright, so like this. And then we will let this rise for about uh, one hour or 45 minutes, depends. You put it in an oil uh, bowl and then form into a smooth ball. And then let's oil the top. And then cover this with plastic or a damp towel. Make, uh, the reason for that is we don't want it to form a skin. Uh, check this after 45 minutes to an hour. For the filling of our creme brulee donuts, 
Uh, you can use pastry cream. However, pastry cream has a shorter shelf life. So I use instant custard powder. This is about 100 grams. I will add about one cup of cold milk. But it depends on the brand of the custard powder. Please check the uh, instructions. I usually add the milk gradually. Most custard powder, you can just use water, cold water. But I like, uh, I like it richer in flavor, so I add milk. What is important, whether it's water or milk, it has to be cold. This is how it looks now. It will thicken a little bit more as soon as it absorbs all of the liquid. All right. Here's our donut dough. Also, 45 minutes because we're using the Angel Premium Instant Yeast. It's very fast acting. All right. We will divide them into 60 gram portions or depends on what size you want your donuts to be. And then you form them into smooth balls. Since we're making filled donuts, we're not going to use a donut cutter. We're just going to make round balls. And then you flatten it like this. And then I put it on parchment paper because it's easier if you fry with a parchment paper. However, if you like to bake, you can also bake this one. And then we will let this rise for about 30 minutes until it's double in size. After that, you can do either you bake it or you fry it. Of course, frying uh, is more delicious, but it's healthier to bake it. We will let this rise for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to bake or you fry, whatever you want to do. I will probably fry this. All right, so 30 minutes. Here are our donuts. Uh, they're ready for, to fry. So we're going to heat some oil now. Normally, since we're using uh, instant dry yeast, what you're supposed to do is you're just going to mix it with the flour. You don't need to dissolve it in water. However, in all my demos, in all my video tutorials, I always dissolve it in water or milk just for homemakers or home bakers to know that the yeast is active. But if you work in the bakery setting where your yeast is always active, then you can just mix it with the flour. I'm heating the oil now for frying the donut. We will fry this uh, at 325 degrees, then maximum is 350 degrees. You fry two minutes on each side. The advantage of the Angel Premium Instant Dry Yeast, which I mentioned earlier about uh, low sugar. The two recipes today that I, sh I am showing you has low sugar. So, you know, the more sugar, the faster the uh, fermentation. This one, even with low sugar, fermentation is still fast. That's why you need the Angel Premium Instant Dry Yeast, especially for these two recipes today. So you maintain the temperature between 325 to 350. Okay, I made a cut on the side so we can put in the filling. All right, and then here's our custard filling. I use a, uh, this is what we call a filling tube. This is a Bismarck tip. finish our donuts, we're going to make this creme brulee. So we're going to sprinkle sugar on top and then torch it. 
Alright, we put sugar on top. And then you need a blowtorch. You apply sugar twice and then torch again. Another way, in case you don't have a blowtorch, what you can do is you caramelize sugar. Like when you make your leche flan, then you dip this. This is called caramel donuts. Just be careful because caramel is very, very hot, okay? For the donuts, see? There's a hard crack for the creme brulee. And also, uh, there's also a hard crack for the caramel. All right? Uh, for the hot dog roll, we have a very nice combination of sweet and savory. I hope you'll enjoy the recipes today.